<laughs> what is going on guys welcome back to man like ricky and we're back with a banger of course we're finally getting around to watching the police chase a mitsubushi evolution and super impressor after a robbery so i don't know why i've clicked on this video before under a different title or video a different channel i just thought it was a helicopter chase but bro i just see two seconds of the clip and it's full on bumper to bumper action so i'm excited some of you know i just bought evo 6 i'm not sure if this is an evo 6 or an evo 5 but yeah let's get into it can't slow me down like speed hump no. keep up when i speed up see your future that's my past yeah. see the smoke when i drive past yeah. fast lane living life before we do get into it b7 rs4 on the website right now you can win it this sunday 10 30 for 99p let me tell you this car is a banger not literally a banger like as in bro it's banging 430 horsepower mrc tuned fully blacked out murder spec exactly how you want it also we've got a mitsubishi evolution 8 which will be getting drawn the following week so anyway let's get into this video lads like that yeah with military precision, the six dedicated criminals strip the cash and carry bear, load the loot into two stolen cars, and ITV make off at four. speed, all before the alarm has even gone off. Mad. When the alarm is raised, the police are quick to act. Chilton Air support are swiftly in action, their thermal image camera showing heat as white light. They soon pick out the two cars speeding through Oxfordshire. How organised have you got to be to be taking chase on a flipping Evolution 5 or 6 and a Subaru like these lot have really planned this out, you know what I mean? The gang are using two of the fastest cars on the market, a Mitsubishi Evolution. 1999, sorry, I won't I won't keep pausing. Sick. This is the start of an extraordinary pursuit, even by police camera action standards. Four police forces, three helicopters and dozens of traffic cars will all be tested to their limit in the next two months. The fleeing criminals take to the M40, hoping to outrun the helicopter on their tails. But the chopper crew are ahead of them and call for local traffic officers on the ground to wait on the motorway ahead of the chase. I wonder what they're going to do. They're going to... The already passed since the break-in. Thames Mad. Thames officers, PCs John Knights and Phil Murphy, immediately respond to the call in their high-powered undercover car. Luckily, it's one of the few cars in the area capable of keeping up with the two stolen vehicles. Okay, okay, officer. What are you in there, mate? It's the start of a memorable night you... for John and Phil. <laughs> for John and Phil. What are they driving? See, they didn't even name the car they're in because they didn't want to embarrass themselves. What are you, 99 are soon behind them. Ross. Hazards. Members of an elite group of police drivers trained to deal with high speed pursuits, John and Phil soon leave their slower colleagues behind and are driving at speeds of up to 150 miles an hour. Wow. As shown on the right of Madness. the screen. The gang make things difficult for the officers by throwing items from the car. Later, oh, it transpired that a dozen duplicate Subaru keys had been dumped on the motorway. I mean, like, look, it's 1999. I know four-wheel drive Evo Scooby, like, boy, these cars have got, like, ultimate traction, ultimate handling, but I wouldn't want to be on a motorway consistently doing 150 miles per hour with a fucking turbocharged car, man. You know it's going to start overheating or some bullshit, right? When the missiles fail to mad, the Evo and that. The getaway drivers cut up a white van and force it into the path of John and Phil. Jeez. Failing to lose John and Phil on the motorway, the two cars veer off into the countryside, hoping that the police will not be able to maintain their high speeds off the motorway. What well, are you an officer? Let us know. What's the officer driving, mate? Both cars kill their headlights in a futile bid to confuse the helicopter. I don't think it's to confuse the helicopter. <laughs> Why would it confuse the helicopter? 
Sorry, man. Phil and John, like, bro, the most typical officer names, like. The thieves pose problems for the helicopter. As the Mitsubishi pulls into a garage forecourt, the Subaru screeches off. The helicopter stays with the Mitsubishi. Why? Thinking they've outrun the police, the trio pull up to a pump and, with balaclavas still on, make a pit stop for petrol. <laughs> Incredibly, the gang attempt to go straight and send one of their men to the cashier's window to pay. But the net is. Bro, are you being serious right now? I remember somebody commented this. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. These men are fully taking the piss. Wow. Now that's a that's an organized team man because certain men would just bro like if you run out of fuel why even why are even low on fuel anyway that's just dumb closing in the helicopter guides in tireless john yes yeah, an evo 5 as well by the way as the duo enter the forecourt one passenger dives into the car but proving there's no honor about no these, way the mitsubishi no way bro mad to make his escape on foot The camera operator in the helicopter follows the crook as he sprints across the fields. The pilot continues to track the getaway car, as do the dogged John and Phil. Evo's gone, look at that. Evo's already cry. Sorry, man. Note of where the crook goes to ground before the chopper rejoins the chase. Bro, I like to see that Evo in action. You're not catching an Evo. No way, bro. No way. Midlands Air Support has been scrambled and is making its way across the country to join the police effort. Within minutes, they have the Mitsubishi in their sights and the original Chilton chopper hands over the pursuit to go back to the garage and... Full-on car racism. They didn't even care about the scoop. They're like, nah, they're staying on the Evo. Piss. Wow. As Chilton arrive at the petrol station, a dog picks up a scent in one of the fields. Officers How are they doing with this? How are they doing this? The helicopter's cameraman searches for suspicious heat sources in the. Is there two choppers up? Like what? Is one keeping an Evo? The dog comes up trumps and has found something in a stream shrouded by dense overgrowth. It is the stranded villain. One down. Just like that, people. Bridging just left him. Police have set up a stinger, a bed of nails designed to puncture the fleeing car's tires. But the driver is wise to the device and goes off road. He doesn't know it yet, but his back tire has just been punctured. John and Phil, who've been driving for 25 minutes at high speeds, are still determined to bring their target to board. What, the Scooby or the Evo? In slow motion, the thermal camera shows the white hot back tire. Oh, shit, boy. Fuck you, no. I mean, if this was back then, the car's now driving on metal rims at a hundred miles an hour, leaving a shower of sparks in its Fuck way. it, no. Pissed, isn't it? Strip I mean, the guys are pissed, should I say. Wheels gouge marks in the road, leaving a terrific guide track for John and Phil. Still keeping it moving, no? Sensing that the police net is closing in, the crooks veer off the main road into the town of Meriden in the West Midlands. John and Phil almost missed the turning, but the lack of gouge marks soon alerts them to their mistake, and they're swiftly back. Bro, allow it, man. This officer's on a joke team. The villains have crossed another county border, their fourth, and a third police chopper's been... Oh, shit, so there are multiple helicopters up, mad. Helicopter guides in more ground mad. units. It's going to take four police forces scores of officers and a lot of patience to end this pursuit Mad. the car cannot hold out much longer and after 150 miles and 90 minutes the pursuit skids to a halt oh shit they spun out but the two offenders still these men are keeping it moving boy <laughs> Fuck you know. 150 miles, bro. That is a chase. I mean, I mean, for police op for police officers, thank God for helicopters, right? I mean, what on earth would you do about one? I mean, we got another gun, bruv. 
who hides underneath trees at the back of gardens before making a dash for it. Mad. The little town is being flooded with police. What happened? It just locked up. Did it lock up or? Or oh, no, it probably spun out, innit? This far, the pair are keen to make an arrest. The passenger dumps his ski mask and gloves in bushes and continues his flight across the Mad. Field. Can't get away from Feds, man. It's peak, innit? The seals himself at the back of a local clubhouse. But the all-seeing helicopter has him in its sights and directs Phil on the right of the screen to the hiding place. Meanwhile, the passenger has found his way into a large country estate and squeezes himself under a builder's porter cabin. Peak. It's almost embarrassing, isn't it? The pursuit lasted two hours, covered 150 miles, and involved four police forces. The three men received a total of 11 years in jail. Wow, the man got but hurt. Despite the mammoth police effort, one car got away was used in an armed robbery later that same day yeah mad you know what that was one of the maddest chases i've seen oh that's scary man like just thinking you're in a fucking evolution five and a scuba and you still can't dust that is mad that is mad like even today that is a serious car like i mean you know you obviously got the gold files and stuff like that but the evo still like another another animal in my opinion no feeling chase glad you're back super got away Eva took one for the boys <laughs> Eva took one. literally did i swear to god i'm reading the comments that it says absolute classic motors get this on man like ricky's channel <laughs> that is fucking jokes we're active we're active people <laughs> he's about to take in the piss look man like ricky would probably think it's an audi a3 not a subaru or Evo. bro i'm not gonna lie that was a mad chase 150 mile police chase my god like how do you stay composed and Fuck, you know, I mean, the car give up is why they even got caught, to be fair, but it kind of looked like they were going to get caught, really, innit? I mean, like, they were doing, they, they'd done a robbery, so police are obviously even more on it. Two free choppers up in the sky. My God, this guy just got bad luck, basically. Like, mate, you said, Evo took one for the team. Scooby got away. Bro, even in 2022, that, for some of you that are not aware, that is one of the best cars. Even now, if you was an Evo 5, like, it will outhandle a Golf R. Like, I know the Golf R is like the new weapon we use, the S3s, the, the Golf R's, the RS3s. And Evo is another level, like, when it comes to handling. I don't know about long 150 mile chases, though. Like, I would expect there to be an issue with a car. But goes to show you, they are reliable cars to do a 150 mile chase. So, yeah, that was a cool chase. I'm not going to lie. Link down some more below if I've not seen it already. As always, if you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Slow me down like speed hump. No. Keep up when I speed up. No. See your future, that's my past. Yeah. See the smoke when I drive past. Yeah. Fast lane, living life fast. See your girl, she's in my car. Mm. Oh, well, that's your girl in my hotel. That's five stars. Yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear.